details emerging this morning about a possible motive for deadly uh, the deadly shooting on Friday at the Colorado Springs Planned Parenthood. The suspect, Robert Deere, reportedly talked to investigators about baby parts, referencing those undercover videos after his surrender. A law enforcement official says Deere told police he has anti-government and anti-abortion views. After the attack, investigators found propane tanks near Deere's vehicle. They were possibly intended to create an explosion. Deere is expected in court today for a bond hearing. Investigators continue to pour over every detail of the attack as dozens of people pay their respects to the three people killed. Police are not discussing details as they investigate the 57-year-old suspect's past. Deer lived in a trailer in rural Colorado. One neighbor watched as police went through his trailer, and now he has plenty of questions. I've just seen him come and go from his property. Does it make you feel any different about living out there? No, not really. The area around the clinic is starting to get back to normal this morning. Police say they are sealing the warrants against Deer. Uh, and everything about it, the, that includes information on the weapon used, a timeline of events, and a motive for the attack. Deer has connections to South Carolina. He has family in Monk's Corner, Goose Creek, and Mount Pleasant. Police records show Robert Deer had two homes in North Carolina, a cabin in Black Mountain, and a trailer in Swannanoa. He also has a restraining order against him here in South Carolina.